So I believe uh, Krista and I'm Steph is actually as well because you also have a child. Um, had, was there a moment where, like, you know, with the baby prior, during pregnancy, and all that, did, was there a difference in? Cause I believe they say like women during pregnancy, like, home they wanted more. So how how did that how did that you know work with you guys? Um, I definitely wanted it more when I was pregnant. Um, I would say that my partner, her fiance. Uh, I would say as I got later in the pregnancy, it probably weirded him out. We had to have some conversations with the doctor a little bit, like you're not going to hit the baby. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, I mean, that's every man thought, like, no, I'm not going to. Yeah, right. have a thing to pull him. Absolutely, <laughs> crazy. women look at you guys nuts for this. <laughs> like what? Um, I mean, you got it, babe, but what? <laughs> um, but. I don't know, like I'm not even at my six week mark yet. And um, we're definitely having a hard time not taking it there if that leaves enough room. Nice. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty expressive and um, I appreciate that my partner is comfortable enough with himself for me to be that expressive. I think that keeps the relationship very healthy between us and has kept a spark um for a while i have a question too paul um okay. i'm gonna let it rock because i know you have other women that you just asked the question to yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, so steph before before yeah hold on to that question krista but steph when when you when you were you know going through your pregnancy and, and what have you how was you know i don't want to be direct how was the sex during then but you know was 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 you know did you want yeah, it more I I definitely wanted it more. Mm -hmm. um, I also had my daughter really young. Well, not really young, but younger. So when I did have her, it didn't, it didn't let up at all. And it's never... And really were you, did you guys enjoy it during that time as well? So, like, did like you, it's just... Did, did, did you guys... The enjoy? first, I, I can tell you this. Are you talking about directly postpartum or you're talking about just in the midst of having a child, raising one, and still doing it. Both, you know, during the pregnancy, during like during the pregnancy, uh, and the, you know, the time after when you're you know allowed to continue again. Was like was the was the was the thrill still uh, there? No, yeah, it was, it was there. good. Hold on one second. Right. Sorry. So, Krista, go ahead. What was, your, what was the question? As you long as the chemistry is there, it doesn't. I think it's great as long as everything is like with both people. And like, but, like we all said, the communication is always the key. The chemistry, the communication. You know, because like, like you said, as men, we gonna be like, nah, the baby gonna get a dent in the forehead, or I can feel it kicking. They don't like that. Chill. It's no, you got the first us. couple of months. You enjoy it the best. What? <laughs> Hey, but the then, fucking when, dudes out here, fuck these dudes out here that see that fucking uh, baby breastfeeding, be like, it used to be my titty. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So even after the, you know, when the baby's born, then there's that moment of now, the, you know, the child becomes priority, number one. But it's like, yeah, but I got some needs too, ma. Like, you know, it was good. <laughs> like, the baby sleep. We got a good 15 minutes. Right. <laughs> All I need is five. <laughs> Okay, Chris, that, was, that was like actually my experience when the baby would sleep. Go ahead. Yeah, no, guess, okay. Oh, no, I was just saying, like, if the baby would sleep, like, that didn't really change. And then I would go into school. I was going to school. It didn't really change because at that time, being so young, that was such my priority. But where it has changed was with career stuff, which is why I extended the compassion I extended to Jared, because that is something that had changed it over children. And remember, I only have one child. I don't know um, about anyone else, but I only have one. So now would probably be the most difficult stage because she's 11 and I got to wait until the nighttime. But this is the first time I've ever encountered an issue. Mm. Crystal, what was, what was the question you were going to ask? I don't want to turn the wheel too much, but I did want to ask because I read something where to kind of put the blame on envy, Aside from pornography that I know um, men and people want to blame pornography for just being male dominated, even though they say women watch it more. Well, women do. Women do. Um, 
do you guys feel like you're stuck in your heads from maybe your early 20s or whatever other fantasies you played out when you were younger since this is maybe like an older crowd on the call and i don't mean to say older like obnoxiously oh. <laughs> Let me come out walking with my dentures out. Hold my on. Bad. Hey. <laughs> my day. <laughs> right back in my day. <laughs> Do you feel like Envy was just he trying had the to funny live pages. out? So, Envy was what you said? Just trying to like live out what he was doing when he was younger. Like maybe he missed out on time or there were certain women from when he was younger that he was like, wow, this is the fantasy. And I'm like searching for this over and over. Maybe that's why he stepped out on his wife. Like, do you guys feel that you kind of reminisce and get stuck? No, stepping out could be ego. That's that, that's that's one. Stepping out just could be ego. It's not so much about, you know, I miss so much of my past or whatever, you know, like. A lot of high profile people have people on the side. Um, so there's a lot of low profile <laughs> niggas ain't got shit. No profile. <laughs> flag, flag, break out. Niggas ain't doing shit. Got people on the side and doing shit like that. Right. Like honestly, it could just be your crowd. Like your crowd of friends or your crowd of people, or even just just you. Um, you know, just just that person itself, you know, that just sees it's it's like being a kid in a candy store. You see so much, you're like, fuck, I want it all. You know, and you just go and do things. You don't think about the repercussions behind that. No, nope, not, not not many people think about the repercussions behind stepping out. Um, and that's not just a male thing. You know, women do it also. But in terms of the man, like honestly, it's just it could just be greed. Um, and it's in 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 his case, you know, he is a celebrity. He is high profile. So most, if you listen to every R&B and rap song out there, no one ever thinks they whack. <laughs> and no girl's probably ever going to tell them that they whack. And that could be for whatever reason, whether financially, emotionally, they just want something out of it. For whatever reason, nobody's ever going to tell somebody that they're whack who isn't a high profile thing. Now, his marriage, that is separate. Now, Erica Mendes said that he was whack also. That that was just piling onto the train. For whatever reason that is, of course, there's a book sale to it. So it is what it is. Plus, she also does reality TV, and I think a lot of things reality is just, you know, just for 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 gossip and talk. Um, but yeah, that is um, you know, in, in terms of that, now I I just think it could just be ego, it could just be greed. Um, not so much about the porn factor, it could be that too. Um, and it could just be God talk. You know, we think, oh, you know, you got to do this, that, da, 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 da. And he's thinking, yeah, 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 you know, I do that too. Or, I, you know, it's, it's you know, the, the, the talk can sometimes build you into certain things. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think, because I don't, again, I don't know the full details in the whole timeline of Envy and his wife and Erica and stuff. So I don't know, you know, the, the, when he was with Erica and how far back or whatever it was. So I don't know, I haven't lined up the, the whole, you know, uh, 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 time frame, and nor do I care to. Um, but yeah, like like Jared said, there's plenty of reasons for like the the the, the cheating or what have you. Um, and however, he felt confident enough to do so because, you know, e even if he, you know, he, he even if he wasn't aware that he wasn't satisfying his wife, and you know, he he thought he was, so he was just like, I can, I'm still gonna get mine elsewhere, or whatever. And with with him and Erica, like, she was basically like, you know, girlfriend number two. Like he had her set up in a, you know, little condo, car, like, you know what I'm saying? So she, we know why she was lying, you know what I'm saying? If she, if he wasn't satisfying her, she was, she was definitely, you know, reaching, reaping the benefits of, of the lifestyle he, 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 uh, you know, supplied her with. So mm -hmm. she didn't care that he was married because she, she knew she didn't care whether he was, you know, getting, she was getting hers or not. Cause one, she probably can get it from someone else Two, she, she didn't care. Like, like Krista said, you know what I'm saying? There's, there are women that are satisfied by material things. You know what I'm saying? So the satisfaction didn't have to be, you know, a physical thing. It was a material thing. And and I'll get, I don't know, so I say allegedly, but we could, you know, we could assume that that was, you know, the, the benefits that, you know, Erica received from their interactions, you know, and so forth. So that's how I look at that. Her husband, could you imagine as a woman, hearing another woman say your man is whack in bed and you saying the same thing. I mean, uh -oh. that yeah, girl. off the building, you are not worth it anymore to anybody. That's a terrible scenario. 
<laughs> I mean, it's terrible for any man to 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 get outed like that, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the the benefit that Envy has is he can say that was years ago, and since then we good. Like, uh, she ain't complaining now. You know what I'm saying? But all these women running around saying how terrible he is in bed, I wouldn't even allow him to say that out loud. That's crazy. I I, I know it was more women saying it. Man, he might be taking the the um, the Ja Rule approach. You know the, the end of. <laughs> You know the end of the you know the end of Jar Rule's verse on Can I Get On You know what? I still fuck you. Can I get I still fucked you? Can exactly, I get right? Exactly, right? Yeah. <laughs> so he might so he might he might he, he all these girls, all these women might be saying that. He'd be like, all right, well, I mean I still beat those. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, every, I mean that's every time, that's, that's every I mean that's a, that's that's a, that's an immature and egotistical um yeah. to, to, to take, but you know, that's possibly you know how he feels about it. I still beat though. <laughs> <laughs> because at the end of the day, that is the greatest comeback, though. Because it's like, no matter what you say, you let me smash. <laughs> but, but see, the thing is, is but, <laughs> but, 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 but like I said, that's still egotistical because then that's just the, the stigma that, you know, men are just, you know, that was the conquest and I, and I won still, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, like, Honestly, or it's a, it's a, a, I know I suck, but I still got mine. I still got, <laughs> yeah. right. and, and again, that's what it is. Yeah, and that can still hurt a female's ego, too. You know, saying that, but like, oh, you little dick, nigga. Oh, y'all piece of shit. I still fuck them. Ah! <laughs> you lose to that. Maybe you should talk about it. Um, what else we got? I mean, I think we we, we covered a lot. Uh, it, Tiff, you've been kind of quiet recently. Is, 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 is you, you good? Yeah, don't don't think I ain't know. Um, <laughs> she been smoking it all up, bro. <laughs> Um, I mean, listen, nuts are hard to come by, so I'm not faking too many of them. Uh, I did fake to get out of a situation. Talk like, to me, tell it, a story. Was a, it was a flying, like, when I'm in town, like, what's up? Can I get it all the time while I'm there type of thing? Um, and then after a while, it wasn't fun anymore. <laughs> like, Ooh. I uh, I even lied <laughs> to get out of it. That I told him my flight was at a certain time just so I didn't have to, like, see him and spend time with him because I just <laughs> didn't want to do it. Uh -huh. um, sorry. Yeah. He wasn't. Good, and on the, and on the next call is him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so what was the reason though? Like, was it he wasn't good in bed, or you just wasn't you was tired he of him? Was nuts. Like it. It was like I was never begging him to move where I was. I wasn't planning on coming back. Shout out to the like, cat. Yeah, he wants to say what's up. So I, I wasn't planning on coming back, and you know. Even when I told him, like, yo, you know, the way I'm trying to love you just wasn't working for me. Like, it's it's not making you happy. I'm like, you know, I wish you the best, whatever. Uh -huh. After we had this conversation, like, five minutes later, he sends me, like, videos of him jerking off. I'm like, what is happening right now? Like, wow. yeah. So it just, it wasn't enjoyable for me. I didn't want to deal with it anymore. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it for supposed to be friends with benefits type of situation, it just wasn't what it was anymore. Like, Mm. I didn't see a future with him and I just was over it. Like it just wasn't, it just wasn't working for me. So I, the, I was like, let me, I was like, let me see if it's, it's really my feeling. So I did it like one last time and I was like, oh, let me wrap this up. <laughs> I was like, let me go ahead and just, grab it up, grab it you know what I mean? Let me, let me, let me, let me strive for one good time. <laughs> so but, but for the ladies though, you say it's difficult to have that conversation. What, what's the most difficult part about having that conversation? Telling them that it's it. <laughs> like, are you talking about ending it or are you talking about just the, the non satisfaction? The non satisfied part. part. Oh, like, right, right, what's, right, what's, right. The, what's the most difficult part? I mean, I told a dude one time I was on top of him and I told him, I was like, damn. Like, I wish you were somebody like, else. Like, man. Wow. Like, oh! That's why. Oh, like, yeah. oh, yeah. like, <laughs> oh! oh! All right. So, hold on. We just opened up. <laughs> Uh, Pandora's box, Pandora's box, a whole other box. Yes. So, so Tiff, you were starting that story, and you said you was like mid action. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it was with a situation where like I didn't want to recycle it anymore. Like it just, it was an ex situation. Like we were dealing with each other, and I was like, all right, let's just keep it going. And you know, one night he came over, and I was, we was, you know, what I mean, he was about to, the spot was happening. And I was on top and I just looked at him and I just looked down at him and I was like, damn, I really wish you were somebody else. Wow. <laughs> I just like, Yo, that's so real. Thank you for sharing that. I love this yeah. story. Wow. And it's crazy because his cousin brought it up to me a few times. He's like, I'll never forget he came. Yeah, the cousin knew. Hold up, he told people this? 
He told somebody that? Yeah. Yeah. Negative. I mean, because I I mean I was being honest. Like there was nothing about me exciting okay. or dripping for him when to get this popping. Like, I'm not gonna waste it on on you knowing that she ain't even with it. So like yeah, we're That's done here. <laughs> like wow. okay, I have a question though. Did he finish after that comment was made? No. He pretty I mean, much how can you he went he went home shutdown. after that? He went home after that and Mm. yeah and it's funny because his cousin brought it up to me like a like a couple months ago and he was like i'll never forget the day i'm not gonna drop his name in here but it's like i'll never forget the day he was oh, like was he a rapper i'm like, that <laughs> no, like we're gonna, we gonna know him. Guy. like i don't i don't like to name drop just people oh, okay. like, yeah none of that you, like you yeah when, me too? <laughs> you're like yeah you know you remember when that day with dj envy i mean oh, oh right. god no. <laughs> he's a dj in new york on a radio show <laughs> 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 Like he was like, yeah. I was like, hell yeah, I told him that. Mm. I was like, because it's just I need him to know like there's never a point if you feel like you want to rekindle or just you wanna Yeah, like, there's no that. shot. Mm. That, one, that was it. Was like don't if you have to think about us fucking or anything, like at that point. Let it go. Course, yeah. Yeah. The you. fact that he told somebody else that story though, it's it's that's even wild. Wild. like like you know, that's I I heard of Sharon, but that's a secret. Oh. <laughs> that's like, 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 the grave. that's like, what it. I thought, but yeah, I put it the grave. So I mean that wasn't Lou's question exactly. But oh, but damn. That that we needed we needed that.